Hi everyone, I am Dr. D. Muniswami, working as assistant professor in economics, Bijar Government Degree College, Narayan Guda, Hyderabad. Okay, now today I want to discuss about the sources of the data. In the statistics, uh, the statistics is nothing but the collection of the data and uh, uh, the analysis of, uh, uh, analysis of the overall data with a single representation or a double representation like that. Okay. <clears throat> so here, to give the one reliable figure for the whole data, the first of all, the before that, uh, uh, when the particular data should be available with us, okay, the data uh, with uh, it should be available. So that's why the uh, that data where it is available, okay, where that data is available. So that thing we are going to uh, discuss um, in this particular okay class. So here we are talking about the sources of the data, okay, data from where we are collecting, what is the meaning of the data and what is the definition of the data and how we are collecting, what are the methods we are following to collect the data. So all these things, so the different type of the data and the differences between primary data and secondary data. So all this type of the particular thing we are going to discuss okay, in this particular okay class. Okay. Anyway, <coughs> so here uh, please see the statistical data, which is one of the uh, most important uh, uh, thing uh, in the statistics. So that is uh, the statistical data is a uh, sequence of the observation. Okay, well, when now uh, we are analyzing the particular activity, uh, to analyze that particular activity, when we, uh, we first we how to observe the particular activity. See, for example, uh, we want to develop one theory related to agriculture sector. Okay, so if you want to develop one particular theory related to agriculture sector, the first we have to observe what is the sequences. That means, uh, what is the agriculture sector or production activity uh, in the last year, maybe present year, like that. Okay, if we take some data based on the first things, definitely based on that we can predict the about the agriculture sector, uh, what will be there in the future. So what will be there in the future that we can uh, observe what we can say uh, in this particular aspect. So that is the, uh, what you call uh, uh, this data. So that's why a sequence of observations made on a set of objects included in the sample drawn from the population is known as the statistical data. So, uh, uh, but here, uh, if you want to know the agriculture sector, we cannot take the data from all the farmers who are there in the country. So that's why we are going to select some particular people, maybe called sample. So from that sample size population, uh, we are going to mobilize some particular data. Okay, so for the, uh, to know the condition of the, all the farmers, so here we are going to take some of the uh, uh, data uh, from this, uh, some of the people from the marginal farmers and uh, uh, small farmers and medium farmers and large farmers. And uh, to know the, uh, the caste wise things, uh, Maybe some of the farmers from the AC communities or scheduled tribes and OBCs and what may be called others you can take. And we, we, we may also take the data from the gender uh, based. So uh, female farmers and male farmers. And we can also take to look at the condition of the farmers in the different areas. <coughs> 
definitely in the sample uh, we are going to collect uh, <coughs> data by representing throughout the country so that means uh, uh, some people we are going to selected from one particular state and some people from other states like that uh, okay we are going to mobilize the uh, data what we can say okay the first step in an inquiry so which is known as the investigation is the collection of the data okay so uh, in the statistical tool or the investigation or research orientation or the inquiry whatever it may be so the first step so in that first investigation is the collection of the data see not only uh, in economic aspect in anywhere uh, suppose uh, there is a one case fir first information report was uh, uh, complained by the some uh, uh, person in the police station so immediately so the police station people are going for the investigation of that particular uh, particular case so when they are going to investigate that particular case the first of all what they are going to do so they are going to take the uh, collection of the data so where the incident was happened and who are the witness and among the witness so they will take some information some of the, some of the people so in that particular area so like that so the in the investigation uh, in any aspect the first and the foremost aspect is uh, the collection of the data is very very okay important aspect in the statistical tool okay the data may be collected for the whole population or for sample only so uh, if uh, uh, the population is very small say the investigators will try to take the data from all the people okay if the small uh, uh, if uh, the uh, the sample uh, the, the population size is very big okay the investigator may not collect data from the all the people so that's why in that particular case so they will take uh, some people selected people okay they will take the information from the selected uh, people suppose uh, the population size is around 50 or 100 like that okay so there is a possibility of the investigator to mobilize the data from all the people so uh, uh, otherwise if the population size is more than 1 lakh people or 50000 people so is it possible the investigator can mobilize the data from all these 50000 people or 1 lakh people no so it is not possible it will take more time it is uh, related to more expensive so like that so that's why in this particular case so the investigator uh, will prepare one questionnaire and will divide the population into different groups maybe area wise class wise or caste wise or religion wise or age wise gender wise whatever it may be from the each and every section of the people so the investigator will try to uh, mobilize the data so from all the uh, people what we can say so like that the investor is going to mobilize the data from the uh, whole if it is the small size population so our sample only if it is the large scale of the uh, population size in the uh, uh, investigation okay so it is mostly collected on a sample basis so because in theoretical basis uh, the population size will be very large no doubt at all so if you want to take any policy related to farmers so there are some crores of the farmers are there in the country so the investigator is not possible to collect the data from all the farmers in the country so like that uh, you know, if you want to take some information uh, of, of, of make the policy related to uh, micro small medium enterprises okay so the, there are some lakhs of the units are there in each and every units uh, uh, for 100 people are working so some crores of people are working in you know, micro small scale industries so that's why it is not at all possible to collect data from all the you know, people so related to education also so if you want to take the information from the students some crores of the uh, students are there in the country so not possible to collect the data from all the okay sections of the people in the 
country. Okay, that is uh, the problem what we can see okay, in this particular cases. Like, uh, okay, the, uh, so uh, that's why the collection of uh, collecting the data um, uh, maximum collecting based on the sample basis uh, only. And um, this collecting data is not a small thing. Okay, the collection of the data is very difficult job. So why it is very difficult job? So because uh, the data may not be available. Sometimes so, uh, the people uh, may not give exact data to the investigator. So in that particular case, so uh, the investor investigator has to go the uh, cross check the data. Suppose uh, if we want to take any information from the farmers, so we uh, we are going to farmers and asking the question like that. Okay, the last time. Uh, you cultivated some particular cap, crop, maybe paddy or something. So how much income you got it? So if we ask the question uh, to the farmer, so immediately, so he will say that, uh, no, I got around 10,000 rupees income. Okay, he, he, he said only, uh, he received only 10,000 rupees income. But here the practice, so whether that 10,000 rupees income received by that farmer is correct or not, we have to cross check. So how we have to cross check? So then you have to ask again, okay, you got 10,000 rupees income, is it okay? But how many quintas you cultivated? Okay, maybe you told that uh, around 15, 15 quintals I cultivated. So immediately, uh, we have some idea about the, uh, if the, invest, uh, the investigator should have some idea about the uh, that data, uh, the, uh, that particular commodity price uh, in the market. Suppose there are 1,200 rupees or 1,500 rupees per quinta. So, if the 1500 rupees quinta per quinta, uh, he cultivated uh, 15 quintas, but how much income he has to get? So, he has to get around 22,500 rupees. Okay, 22,500 rupees. But immediately, so, but the farmer told that I received only uh, 10,000 rupees income. Okay, he cultivated uh, around 15 quintas. Okay, how it is? So, so that's why uh, the, like that we have to cross check the data and I have to, we have to investigate the, uh, the farmers and to take the reliable the data. So that's why it is very difficult to job the collection for the collection of the data. So, uh, so in this particular case, so the enumerator or the investigator is the well-trained individually who are collecting the statistical data so then only if uh, you will try to uh, mobilize the exact data from the uh, farmers uh, or from the people so from the sample population okay what we can say okay that is uh, uh, what we we can uh, understand uh, okay in this particular cases okay here so okay we will try to understand what is the meaning of the data and what is the definition of the data? So the meaning or the definition of the data. So we will try to understand. So the data or fact. See data always related to fact, figures and other relevant materials. Past, present, serving as a basis for the study and analysis. Okay, so the data is a fact. Maybe the data may be in the figures or other relevant materials. For example, so um, <coughs> here we want to know the impact of the government policy uh, on the educational system or the impact of the government to particular policy so on the agriculture sector so to know that impact immediately so we have to take some sample size population and we have to investigate that people and we have we have to we, we have to try to uh, mobilize the fact from the farmers so that uh, like uh, so what is the impact of that particular policy on your sector before that particular policy so what is your condition and uh, how it was helped to you 
to develop your activities or to increase your standard from that particular activity so uh, like this so, so all this type of the fact we have to gather the from the sample size population and figures okay so how much it was increased how uh, how much it was decreased so so the percentage or figures maybe and other element why it was decreased so uh, there was impact in rainfall so there was impact in covid 19 or there was impact uh, adverse impact of the government policy sometimes sometimes the government policies may not be success okay so sometimes there may be adverse impact on the uh, what is called uh, government policies uh, also so that's why so in this particular cases uh, uh, we have to take uh, the information from the various uh, sources so like uh, the data or facts figures and other relevant uh, materials past and present serving as a basis for the study and uh, analysis uh, okay what we can say okay the search for answers to the research questions calls for the collection of the data so here yeah, we have some research questions whatever the questions we have for that questions so we have to know the answers okay so to know the answers we are going from the people so whatever the information we are getting from the people so that is the answer for our research questions so whatever the information we are getting from these people so that may be called a collection of the data okay what we can say so like data or fact data is a fact and uh, figures already told you and other relevant materials past and present serving as a basis for the study and analysis so uh, 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 this data we are mobilizing uh, to study our analysis to study our research purpose okay this research purpose based on the research we are going to be conclude to conclude the research so the effective collection of the data is very very no important so what we can say so the particular aspect so all these aspects may be called okay the uh, 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 the collection of the data or the data so finally we are saying that the data is nothing but uh, so it is a fact or figures uh, mobilizing for, from the population size for the analysis of our research is known as the what is called uh, data okay what we can say okay, exactly so what is the importance of this particular data why it is required okay why it was important so the data serve as the basis or raw material for analysis without date uh, for analysis for analysis without data there is no specific uh, uh, inferences can be drawn on our studies so the data is very very important so the data we are going to use as the basis of our uh, based on the raw material okay it is a raw material how the raw material is important for the production so this data we are looking like a raw material so it is important for analysis uh, for the specific policies so that's why without data there is no specific inferences can be drawn on our research on our study for the policy making it may be government or individually whatever it may be so it is not at all possible so to inference the data to conclude the uh, uh, to inference the analysis or to conclude the analysis to suggest to any policy uh, the data is more important it is not at all possible without uh, this particular data so that's why the reliability of the data determine the quality of the research so since the data is very very important for conclusion the reliability of the 
data is very very important for our aspect okay the reliability uh, of the data is more important for our uh, what is called uh, research uh, what we can say so that's why so that reliability of data determines the quality of the okay research the data form the basis of testing hypothesis uh, is also important that data provides the fact figures for constructing the measuring the scale okay the scientific process of research can be carried out only through accurate data okay that whatever the uh, data is available with us that scientific process of research can be carried out only through accurate data for our purpose so that's why the data form the basis of testing hypothesis so whether uh, it is uh, uh, our assumption is correct or not hypothesis so first we will assume yes it will be correct the second hypothesis may be called maybe it may not be correct so you, then uh, after assuming this uh, uh, yes or no then we are going for the testing after the testing this hypothesis uh, um, whether it was correct or, no, or not we can find out based on that we can conclude the data so that's why so for all this purpose the reliability data is more important if the data is not reliability if the data is not perfect so the, our analysis will not be good okay our analysis will be loss so that's why the scientific process of the research can be carried out only through uh, accurate data okay, what we can say in this particular aspect okay so okay anyway the uh, you know what is the, uh, we understand what is the meaning of the data and uh, what is the importance of the data we understand but now how we are collecting the data on what basis we are collecting the data so that is called sources of data so here uh, actually when we are talking about these sources of data <coughs> on the basis of the sources of the collection of the data it be classified into two categories that is primary data and the secondary data okay one is primary data and the second one is secondary data so uh, this is uh, divided into primary and secondary based on the our collection of the data okay based on the collection of the data so it is going to be so decided uh, like that okay the primary data are originally fact it was uh, collected for the first time for the fulfillment of the uh, what is called uh, objectives so uh, primary and we have secondary data the primary is very important uh, this primary is a original fact so that means we are directly going to the people or population and we are taking the first hand information okay the direct information uh, we are getting from these uh, people so that's why the original fact it was called uh, original facts collected for the first time for the fulfillment of our objectives okay they are called an uh, internal sources of data yes the data are collected directly from the respondents fields of the study okay so it is called internal sources of the data so why it is called internal sources of data so because the primary data is nothing but we are collecting the data directly from the respondents okay respondents so from whom the policy is affected from the, we are going to there and uh, we are taking the data from that people directly so that's why that respondents uh, from the respondents we are collecting the data and the fields of the, our uh, study so we are collecting this particular aspect okay that is uh, one important uh, <coughs> thing here when we are talking about this particular aspect so this primary sources are original sources from which the researcher directly collects data that have not been previously collected okay whatever the data we are collected from the various sources so these primary sources are original sources from which the researcher directly collects data okay we are going directly for the respondents are collecting data from that people 
so that you have not been previously uh, what is called uh, collected so previously it is not collected directly we are taking the data from the uh, what is called uh, respondents only so directly okay that is what we are going to see here okay like uh, the primary data are the first hand information collected through various methods such as observation interview etc okay based on the observation we are taking the information or based on the interview method from the uh, respondents we are taking the data so we are preparing one questionnaire and uh, based on that questionnaire so we are uh, directly uh, uh, meeting these respondents and we are uh, asking some questions and they are giving the information so uh, that, that's why it is called first hand information sometimes so uh, um, based on the observation also we can see okay so based on the observation also we can uh, uh, conclude the uh, what is called uh, uh, interferences or the conclusions of the uh, data what we can say so that is uh, primary data so uh, uh, another sources of data is a secondary data secondary data secondary or external sources of data are related to the, uh, infor the that information which are obtained from outside as either uh, public sources or some else who have already worked and uh, on that uh, 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 encounter on the subject so it is like a second hand information already some of the people they worked on that particular aspect and they published and it is available to public maybe in the newspaper maybe in the government uh, websites okay maybe in the uh, journals maybe in the textbooks okay so uh, like so maybe in, the, in in some other research papers okay already they collected the data uh, already they have the the, uh, the first hand okay information okay for for, for that particular uh, uh, aspect so and from there again we are going to okay take we some information you know, uh, what they published it okay this type of data can help to save time money energy okay already so because uh, if you go for the secondary data uh, directly we are not going to uh, meet the uh, respondents so that's why traveling expenses are of time and uh, some other expenses uh, and time also uh, going to be uh, save money also going to be save okay, energy also going to save so immediately we can take the uh, policy we can suggest we can conclude the uh, analysis analysis but a researcher should verify this data data with the help of other sources so sometimes uh, other researchers who collected the data uh, that may not be reliable sometimes so that's why uh, as a researcher we have to verify whatever the data available the secondary data available that data should be verified by the researcher so then only we will get some reliable of uh, we can believe the data okay these are sources containing data which have been collected and compiled for another purposes okay whatever the sources you uh, uh, containing the secondary data uh, which have been collected so that we have to information and compiled for another purpose so uh, the first hand information the researcher may mobilize the data for some other things so here whatever the data mobilized by that particular person that data we have to use we have to utilize for the some other purposes okay so not for the same purposes but the secondary sources consisting of readily available okay it is ready made like okay readily available and compiled statistical statements and the reports so already it is available for example economic survey okay it is uh, whatever the information we are taking from the economic survey so it is a second hand information so uh, secondary uh, data what you can say okay the uh, report secondary sources consist uh, consist of not only published okay but also uh, unpublished record also can be 
used okay unpublished records uh, records also can be uh, used so from this uh, reliability uh, what is called uh, sources so sometimes uh, the people are uh, collected data but may not be published okay so that's the second the uh, uh, they consist of data over which a research has no original control so that's why now whatever the information we are taking from the government website or journals uh, publications or web bulletins okay government reports like economic survey uh, and yojana kurukshetra uh, like that government websites and uh, books written by some authors so whatever the information we are taking from this website and all so all these things will come under the uh, what is called uh, uh, secondary sources of the uh, data what we can say okay here yeah. see uh, we will try to understand what is the difference between the primary data and the secondary data okay how it was useful okay and uh, 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 on what basis it is different so the primary data and the secondary data uh, it is how it was different so the primary data are the those which are collected for the first time already i told you but whereas the secondary data it refers to those data which are already been collected by someone some other person okay already it was collected that data we are going to take but the primary data nothing but no one was collected till now so first time we are collecting that data so whatever the data we are collecting first time from the people so that will come under this uh, uh, what is called uh, primary data see if already someone was collected by the data so if we look after that particular data is known as the uh, what is called uh, secondary data so that is the meaning uh, when we are talking about this uh, two differences and uh, in case of the originality the primary data is original because these are the collected by the investigator for the first time okay so the investigator is taking the information so he is observing the data and taking the information from the respondents so that's why whatever the data collected by the investigator through primary sources it will be more reliable so it is a original no doubt at all but when you come to the secondary data are now uh, may not be original because someone else has collected this from his own purpose so he collected some his own purposes okay so when the someone is collecting is for his own purposes so he is uh, taking the information from the respondents may be different okay maybe uh, different so uh, for example total how many schools are there in the state and uh, Uh, how many teachers are there in the school and what is the infrastructure in the school okay so uh, 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 related to this one one person was collected data related to uh, all this information so to look after uh, to take the policy whether the education system should privatize or not so when the researcher is taking the information from the students and uh, uh, what is called uh, of uh, respondents related to that uh, education system so uh, his uh, objective is different so with his objectives is collected data but uh, so here yeah, um, if some other researcher he also collecting data from the students uh, to uh, related to whether uh, this uh, uh, what is called uh, fees reimbursement scheme is required or not so his, his objective is different so that's why uh, whatever the data collected by the first researcher um, that information may not be reliable to this person may not be original to this person so because he collected data for, for his own purpose this he has to collected uh, the data for his own purposes so that's why it may not be uh, original what we can say so exactly and uh, the nature of the data the primary data are the to form of the raw material okay it is uh, uh, like input for the output but where the secondary data are the finished form already ready made it is available in the uh, uh, ready made available so the raw material is nothing but it is not available through that raw material we have to make another commodity 
Okay, that is the point. But here, at the secondary data, nothing but already conclusion was there, or else the policy making was there, already session was there, everything was there. But uh, so that's why it may not be uh, required for the further the further studies. So that's why the primary data always more important. So it is like a input for the production. What we can say particularly. So and uh, the reliability and suitability. The primary data are more reliable. Already I told you, and more suitable for the inquiry because it is collected for a particular purpose. Okay, with the main motto, so it may be collected. So that's why the primary data always very very important. But whereas, <coughs> uh, because it is collected for the particular purpose, but uh, in the secondary data. Uh, it is less reliable. Why secondary data it is re less reliable? So because it, it, it was less reliable, it was less suitable as someone else has collected the data which may not be perfectly matched for our purpose. That is what I am saying. So uh, the someone was collected data for his own purpose. But our purpose may be different. Whatever the data collected by that person for his own purpose may not be suitable, may not be reliable for our own research. So that's why we can't say that uh, uh, the secondary data is reliable. The secondary data is a suitable, may not be suitable, may not be perfect. Okay, what we can say okay in these particular cases and uh, what is called time and uh, money. Uh, related to this one, the color uh, uh, when you are collecting the primary data is a quite expensive, not at all. So both in time, money, energy, etc. So because we have to go to the uh, respondents and collected the data for that, we have to spend a lot of money, and the money uh, is important, and we have to spend a lot of time also. Okay, Lana, a lot of energy uh, we have to uh, spend, but we will get a reliable data. We get suitable data, so that will be original data for our research. So, but uh, whereas if we are going for the secondary data, it requires less time. No money may not be required, so it is uh, more economical. Suppose uh, you, uh, if you want to take the secondary data, there is an economic survey. From the economic survey, we can take the data directly. We can download. Uh, and we can take the data. So here, uh, uh, money may not be required, and time consumption is not required, and more energy, uh, more energy is not required. It is very economically. So, but here the problem is, uh, if we collected this uh, data like through secondary, it may not be original. Already told you, it may not be suitable for our own research. So it may not be reliable. It may not be suitable for our uh, research. Uh, what we can say so like uh, uh, the precaution and the editing so uh, when we are talking about the primary data no special precaution or editing is required because already it is original so because while using the primary data yes these have been collected with a definite purpose okay with uh, a definite purpose and uh, with a systematic purpose and original data it was there. So that's why it is not at all required to mobilize uh, to edit uh, uh, to precaution anything related to primary data. But um, when you are talking about the secondary data, so the both precaution and editing are essential as the secondary data were collected by someone else for their own purpose. So uh, this data was collected by someone uh, someone with their own purpose. So that's why that data has to convert to our requirement. So in this particular process, the editing is important. Okay, the precaution may be uh, what is called uh, uh, important. So uh, like uh, this, uh, uh, the data, uh, uh, the primary data and secondary data, we have a lot of things. So uh, like uh, uh, when you are going to conclude the research or policy, in the research particularly, uh, if any, a uh, research scholar a uh, researcher if he concluded his thesis through primary data uh, it will be accepted of, of, of more people will accept but uh, if any researcher or a scholar 
will conclude his thesis based on the secondary data so the guide or supervisor or evaluator may not be accepted even the government also may not be uh, accepted may not be reliable this uh, okay thesis okay so but um, the most of the supervisors or evaluator they will encourage the uh, primary data based research only so the primary data research orientation is very very important for a maximum research scholars uh, it may be in the country or in the world whatever it may be for any aspect particularly in the social science so uh, why it is uh, so already so we discussed the uh, the importance of uh, the data so because the data is the important for analysis the data is important for our study without data no specific policies or inferences can be drawn by any researchers so that's why in this this much important is there for the particular uh, the statistical data so uh, because of this reason uh, the data should be collected but among them the primary data if we collected for the research purpose it is very 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 uh, important for the so for our uh, analysis so uh, what we can say okay this is called what is statistical data meaning or the definition of the statistical data type of the statistical data like primary data and secondary data and what is the differences between uh, primary data and uh, secondary data what we discussed okay till now so the remaining related to statistical data okay we'll uh, discuss in the okay next class okay thank you thank you